Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga teacher. So today in this video we are going to talk about what is the easiest and most funniest thing that we can do to maintain our health. The best exercise or the best form that is dancing. Now the question comes, what kind of dances, which dances, what dances do to brain, what are the benefits of dancing, because it is such a small thing that we all forget how dances can, can do miraculous change in our lives. If you pay attention to dance, you will see the way we move our body depends on our genes, our genetics and hormones and it also decides like with certain moves it can enhance happiness. There are certain forms of dances which are just designed to uh, enhance happiness. Now, why? Because certain dances are responsible for the release of serotonin hormone which is also known as happy hormone and dance is also responsible to enhance the neuron functioning so that our brain uh, correlate with our motor system better and the functioning of brain should become better. At the same time dance also is very beneficial to lose weight, to enhance flexibility. Dance also helps in reducing your stress in a big way like let's suppose if we are very stressed and we don't feel like dances, even if you do certain actions with movies, certain dance, certain music, it will relax your mind in a big way and all the stress, all the energy will went out through dancing. Now what kind of dance we should? Dance should be actual dance if you want to do dance to release your stress, it should be come from within just to dance whatever way, move whatever way just to take the stress that is there within you out. Next form of dancing is to improve the co correlation, the motor functions of the brain. If your focus is to improve the motor function of the brain, so the best form of dances for this is Bharatanatyam and Kathak. Uh, these are the two traditional dances which are made just to enhance your expression to enhance the core uh, relatability of the you know body movements and brain movements along with your speech uh, because these dances are responsible to enhance the concentration because it includes certain kind of mudras. It also helps in aligning the body in a certain way because the postures that are being used in dances they are very scientific postures and you need to learn it from a specific master to uh, attain its benefit. So, it's, uh, these dances are designed in a way it will cause overall well-being to you. So, if your, fun your uh, focus is just to make your body's motor system better, to make your energy system better, you should the dances that you should learn that is Bharatanatyam and Kathak. In addition to other kind of dances are traditional dances that is every region whether which any whatever part of the country it is, whether it is India or whether it is uh, Europe or whether it is any country you can say, every country has their original dance forms. I am not talking about Bollywood or Hollywood dances, I am talking about the traditional regional dances which are designed according to their culture like we are in mountains. In mountains oxygen level is quite low because mountains are on high altitudes. So mountains dances are designed in a way that they will not be very fast dances. The, if you see any of the mountain dance, most of the mountain dances are very slow dances. Why? Because already there is lack of uh, oxygen and if you do very fast dances, the um, you will get tired very quickly, very easily and it would be very exhausting. So, dances are designed in a way just it is a whole body exercise. If you see any uh, regions uh, traditional dances, they are designed in a way that whole body uh, do exercise in a way. It is the best form of exercise if you can ever see. Next thing is and most easy one. If you go to the uh, Punjab or like the area where it is plain like in India, there is no uh, mountains over there, their dances are very very fast. Why? Because the water of the Punjab, the food of the Punjab and the way Punjabis live, there is a tendency to gain weight. So, 
the dances are designed in a way like they are very fast, very energetic, very enthusiastic dances that open up your personality and do not let the lethargy come in you. What I want to say every region has their own beauty of dances and it is unfortunate that we are forgetting the cultures these uh, days with the modernization and these traditional design uh, dances are the best form of exercise and uh, even those people who do not want to uh, do exercise not health conscious or they do not want to do anything for the body at least they should try one hour dancing daily or half hour dancing daily that would be good exercise and it will release enough serotonin for a day and it will enhance your flexibility make your mood happy and make your uh, uh, helps in weight loss and also uh, make the motor functions of the body very good. As yoga says, Ayurveda says life is just like a celebration. So, we and dance is the best form of celebration. So, we should not forget our traditional dances and we should keep practicing it because for that you need not to do much. Everybody has learnt it from their childhood or something. So, we should try to incorporate it at least half hour 20 minutes per day so that we can take the first step towards our health. So, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and if you are watching me for the first time there is a bell icon, there is a subscription button. Please click the bell icon, hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. Also if you would like to support us there is a join button near subscription button. You can click the join button and you can support us. Those of you who want Ayurveda consultations please write to me on this given email id and I will let you know how we can schedule it. If you have any questions please write down those questions in the comment section. I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. So, with this note I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care, bye.